we are live in Canberra with the Treasurer. Putting the spotlight on budget relief for households doing it tough. So I encourage people to look right across the cost of living package. Worth $14.6 billion, it includes subsidies to reduce the shock of winter electricity costs. More than 5 million low-income households will save up to $500 on their energy bills, while a million small businesses will see $650 wiped from theirs. That will be just like a drop in the ocean. Every bit helps, for sure. You know, and if they could give a little bit, yeah, for sure. Not really, not much. Yeah, I think they should do more. Uh, any kind of measure is going to help, but whether it's enough, I'm not sure. Extra cost of living relief going to those already on government support. People on Job Seeker, Youth Allowance and Oz Study will receive an extra $40 a fortnight or $2.85 a day. Not enough for 24-year-old Brock Alexander. I think it's just embarrassing um, and to be honest I make more money collecting bottles and cans per fortnight. He's had to move back in with his parents because he can't afford to rent or even register his car. $2.85 a day really works out to be zero because $2.85 doesn't buy you anything these days with the massively high inflation rates. When it comes to housing increases, low income renters will get an extra $31 a fortnight with Commonwealth rent assistance increasing by 15%. While changes to the single parenting payment had already been flagged, from late September it will be extended until the youngest child turns 14, up from eight years old meaning an extra $176 a fortnight for more than 50,000 single mothers previously forced to move to the lower job seeker payment. That will help. That will actually make a difference. Single mother Pauline says she's had to rely on food banks to get the bare essentials for her family. It's degrading. I'm 55. I've been working a casual job or full-time work since I was 12 years old and I'm still struggling. The government's budget has set out extra support for the most vulnerable, but there is still pain ahead as families feel the impact of high inflation. Wages are starting to pick up, but they're still being outpaced by cost of living, and that will continue until next year. Cayman Gok, ABC News, Canberra.